All right, welcome back. This is John Hart, and today I'm presenting to you the three biggest offenders of those healthy shoulders. These are the three exercises that you want to avoid at all costs if you want to keep those shoulders healthy. Down the line, the price you pay for doing these exercises, even though today they may not cause you a whole bunch of pain, that price is too great. You have to think ahead and protect you 10 years from now from you today. Do not do these three exercises that I'm about to show you. In order, these are the worst offenders. Number one is the upright row. The upright row, the close grip upright row, involves a grip like this. And you can do this with a barbell. This is the traditional way of doing it. You could do it with two dumbbells with your hands closed or a little wider. It does not matter. You can do it laying down on the floor using a cable handle or a cable. It does not matter. Standing with a cable. It does not matter. This movement of pulling up with the elbows, leading the way, and the hands following while your upper arm is internally rotated like this. Doing that type of a movement causes impingement in those shoulders. You may not feel it today. This is the way it goes and rolls with just about everybody who does them. And it's 2019 for God's sakes. So right now, there's just no excuse. Everybody in the gym knows. Upright rows, they are horrible. It's one of the least seen exercises anymore because the majority of the people out there know not to do it. It's just safest for you and your long-term health and your shoulders. So, upright rows of any type, standing, laying down, on your back, with a cable, with dumbbells, with a barbell, does not matter. Close grip, wide grip, they all suck and are bad for your shoulders. Just don't do them. The number two exercise, and another one that thankfully we don't see much of in the gym. Here I go with my barbell again. The number two exercise, presses behind the neck. Barbell presses behind the neck. Coming down with it to a point, the middle of your head, below the middle of your head to your neck, you can see it's a strain. I have really flexible shoulders. And this, unfortunately, feels horrible. And I'm having to uncomfortably push my neck forward and out of the way of the barbell coming down. Those presses behind the neck, that one movement, again, presses behind the neck, externally rotating, rotating your arms way back like this, and then pressing up. There is no advantage to your shoulder development. There's no advantage at all. If anything, it puts your spine, your cervicals, and your thoracic area in an odd, straightened position. Very, very odd and uncomfortable. Anatomically horrible for you. You have to shove your head forward to get your head out of the way, too. Very bad. Overall, it destroys more rotator cuffs, so not only does it also affect the impingement syndrome that upright rows will give you, but also those rotator cuffs, when you go back, way back like that, and then do presses, they are going to shear away at the fibers of your rotator cuff long term. Another movement you just don't want to do. Those presses behind the neck, they suck. Get them out, don't do them. And the third most obnoxious exercise that does destroy shoulders. It may not seem like this is such a big, big deal, but bench presses and incline presses, decline presses, any kind of press for your chest. Okay, I'm gonna use a broomstick here to illustrate what I'm talking about. Any one of your pressing motions, when you have a grip such as this and the bar comes down and you have those elbows 
splayed out to the side like this. So you're way out like this with those elbows and you press the weight back up again. You see it a lot in the gym. You see it with dumbbells, individually with dumbbells. The dumbbells come down and they have them way out here like this with the elbows far away from your side. That one movement on those presses, over time, it will shear the roof of your humerus up in your shoulder joint. It will wear down your shoulders. You will head for shoulder replacement surgery down the line if you continue to do that movement. What's the answer? On those bench presses, whether you're using a barbell, dumbbells, a machine, it does not matter. When it comes down, tuck your elbows in. Stick your chest out, tuck your elbows in. And when the bar travels up and away from your chest, it goes up and slightly back. That's a natural movement as it comes up. If you're using dumbbells, if you're using dumbbells, the dumbbells can be angled like this. So it's even more natural. That's why I prefer dumbbells over the barbell. Why a lot of my contemporaries in the gym, they also prefer dumbbells instead of a barbell. Over time, that barbell gets a little bit uncomfortable unless you have really great mechanics. So on a flat press in particular and the decline, those two are probably the harshest on those shoulders. Do not let those elbows splay all the way out to the side like this. Bench presses, wide elbow flaring bench presses. Negative, wide grip bench presses, which force your elbows all the way out to the side. Negative, you don't want to take any bench press motion out wide like this and come down with it and then press it up. It's, man, it's just uncomfortable doing this right now. That one movement, everyone will tell you, old school bodybuilders will tell you, feels great on the pecs, stretches the pecs, nice, it's true. Works the pecs, sure, it does. But boy, put your shoulders at such an anatomical disadvantage and heads them for destruction. They suck. Don't do that exercise either, okay? Wide grip bench presses, elbows out to the side, bench presses, dumbbell, barbell, or machine, any one of those, stay away from those. Keep the elbows tucked in close to your side at a 45 degree angle. So this is about 45 degrees from your side. This is zero, 45, 90. Avoid 90 at all costs, and those shoulders will stay healthy. <laughs> those are my three most obnoxious, obnoxious shoulder exercises of all time. Avoid them at all costs. From my heart to you, John Hart, stay healthy and strong. Keep training hard all the days of your life. Please hit that subscribe button before you leave, and feel free to comment on this video or leave a comment with any of your suggestions on any future videos that you would like to see me do on any particular subject matter having to do with fitness, diet, and health. Thank you.